morning, friends. Welcome back to another classroom vlog. Um, it is Monday, <laughs> I don't even know the date. What's the date? February 10th? Oh, it's February 10th, you guys. Oh, I feel like we were fighting so long. We were fighting so long for February to get here and we're already 10 days in. That's insane. Um, pretty busy morning today. We've got staff photos at 725, which is in less than 10 minutes. And I don't know where those are gonna take place because there's no risers outside. I'm guessing maybe in the gym, I don't know. Um, I went to Starbucks this morning. I usually don't go on Mondays, but I was like, you know what? I don't feel like drinking crappy cup of coffee from my coffee pot, so I'm just gonna go buy some. <laughs> Uh, and I also got breakfast, which I haven't really been eating breakfast the last couple of weeks. Like pretty much the whole month of February, or sorry, January and up until today, I wasn't eating breakfast. I've been doing like this little fasting thing. I wouldn't even count intermittent fasting because I drink coffee. I don't know the rules. I don't care about the rules. I don't care to hear the rules. I just kind of do what I want. <laughs> It works <laughs> so so we're gonna get uh, ourselves put together here um, I do need to print some stuff I don't have a special today however I do have my school counselor coming in and teaching a lesson so that will give me a prep time which I don't usually get on a Monday which is super great for me so um, I need to do a TPT purchase this morning before Mandy slaps me um, I need to go and buy Amy Grossbeck's next slew of anchor charts. I'm going to do that now, Shmanda, so that we have it. Because this week we are starting data, um, measurement and data standards. And if you don't know what that means, that just means that we're starting like graphing time, um, measurement of capacity, weight, things like that. So I'm just gonna go through, I'm using these third grade math exit slips from Create, Teach, Share. I love these, they're great. Um, I'm just gonna go through them and grab all of the MD exit slips and then I'm gonna go and copy them. That way they're already done and prepared for me. Um, I probably won't use all of them, just because there's quite a few, um, but that's cool. We're just going to pull them anyway so that we have them ready to go. And then I need to go and buy that TPT Amy Gross Specs anchor chart. So I'm going to do that right now before they give us a call, <laughs> an all call. Teachers, come take your pictures. Good morning, Mandy. Good morning. Good morning. How was your weekend? It was good. It was good. Our pictures are at 7.45, I think. Oh. Not 25, so you're good. Okay. You good on time? Perfect. Okay. Well, then I will go ahead and print some stuff. And then I need to change some objectives or learning targets. I like to call them now. We don't call them objectives anymore. We call them learning targets. So, I'm going to go change those. And get to work while I have time.
Hey you guys, sorry about the change of scenery, um, but this is a prime example of motherhood and teaching combining itself. <laughs> um, so I got a phone call at about 10.30 from Cash's preschool. By the way guys, I am not driving, I am in a drive through right now. Um, I'm grabbing Chick-fil-A. Um, I got a call from Cash's school, he has 102 degree fever and uh, they needed one of us to come pick him up immediately. So I called Scott and um, he was able to pick him up immediately, but he has a really important thing at work that he has to be there for. Um, and so I um, called my principal, he said, you know, let's go ahead and split your class. Um, don't worry about, we're not gonna try and get a sub right now, it's a little too late in the day. So we split the kids and I am running home so that I can be home so Scott can go to work. He goes to work at 1.30. So um, I am running through Chick-fil-A to grab Cash some lunch because I don't know what kind of sick he is. I know he doesn't have like any like tummy issues. He did have a runny nose so I don't know if this fever is from like a cold that he's catching or if it's from teething because he has been grabbing at his mouth a lot um, and has been a little irritable. So I'm thinking that it's teething but the school doesn't know that, so when they see fever, they panic and they call. Um, so anyway, I'm grabbing Chick-fil-A and then I'm gonna go home and take care of my little boy for the rest of the day. Um, Scott did say he would take tomorrow off if the fever is not gone tomorrow so that I can be at work. Um, so all I did is, at the beginning of the school year, just so you guys know, this is something super good to do. If your school doesn't require you to do it, it's a good idea. Create a split list. I create two of them one for a team level split and then another for a multi-grade level split. This would be like if, you know, they need to split the kids between more than just my teammates, um, then I send, you know, them across grade levels. It's like three kids to a class instead of eight, seven to eight kids. So I always provide my administrator and my office staff the split list and then that way if there is an emergency and there's no sub then they have a list of where the kids will go. Um, the kids are going to take their computers with them today and just work on Prodigy for math time and then um, during our writing time they're going to do a typing club which is like a typing game. So not exactly what I had in mind for the afternoon but I didn't want to try and like slam together some type of plan. Um, but. So that's what they're gonna do. Luckily with Prodigy, they are still practicing their skills. And for Typing Club, that is extremely necessary because AZ Merit's coming and they're gonna have to type a response. So getting them typing practice is great. So, anyways. <laughs> Hi, you. <laughs> so you guys, it is now, I don't remember what on. 6.30? Hi, baby. <laughs> It's now 6.30 and we've had quite the day. Um, when I came home, I found that he had thrown up twice. Um, and he had a really bad fever, it was about 104, or sorry, not 104, wow, that's really bad. 101, between 101 and 102. Um, and so we had peppermint on his back, we had him naked, we had the air on, a fan going. Um, and Scott was just getting ready to go to work. So he didn't, I gave him a couple french fries just cause they're pretty bland and um, some Pedialyte. He ended up feeling better um, within about an hour and then um, I gave him Motrin. So then he started feeling better so he started kinda like jumping around and playing and then he threw up again. So I said okay, no more jumping around and playing. We laid down. He got really tired and really cranky, so I, I tried to get him to take a nap on the couch. He would not do it. He just couldn't close his eyes. So I put him in his crib, and he ended up sleeping for like almost three hours. His fever broke while he was sleeping, and when he woke up, I gave him a small little snack. I gave him a few pretzels, um, some banana, and some applesauce, and then I made him a deal if he could keep that down for an hour, then I would feed him actual food. And so, this is his dinner. We're having apples, pretzels, and some peanut butter toast. 
I don't know how, if he's gonna eat the peanut butter toast. He had one little bite, but he loves apples and pretzels. We don't have any crackers, so. And then this is his third cup full of liquid. He did throw up quite a bit of the liquid earlier, but then he just drank almost a whole one of these Pedialyte, and now we're mixing Pedialyte and water. So he is hydrated, which is great. And his fever is, well, he's a little warm right now. So we're just checking on that. You okay? No. No, you're not okay? <laughs> he's watching Toy Story, because that's what we do when we're sick. We sit on the couch and watch Toy Story, huh? You watch and he calls it story time. So I will probably put him down for bed at like 8, 8.30. <laughs> but uh, I'm sorry that this teaching vlog went from teaching to motherhood, but that's what happens in this house, in this life. So um, if you guys aren't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Apples and Tiaras. I do a lot more updating there than I do here. Um, like and subscribe to my channel. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.